In this video, I'll show you how to use Zenfolio's pre-order feature. In your Zenfolio account, click on Selling. Then scroll down and click on Pre-order. Then Create New Pre-order. The name of the pre-order will help you keep track of why it was created and will come in handy later on when you're pulling order reports. Also, make sure to select the appropriate currency. Now let's create a package. Click on the Add Photo box if you have an image you would like to use to represent this package. Photos are not required, so you can always skip this step or come back and add photos later. Next, enter a package name. Package descriptions are not required, however you will at least want to remove the default text. Then add the package price. Each package you create must have at least one product and can have up to 15 different unique products. Make sure to name the products and put in the quantity. To add additional packages, click the Add button or duplicate the one you created and modify as needed. Customizable packages allow your clients to choose a predetermined number of options from the product list. To create one, start off by giving it a name and setting the price. The number you enter here is what determines how many of the options from the product list below the client can select. Just like with normal packages, you can add additional customizable packages by clicking the Add button or duplicating the current one and modifying. Next, let's create some add-ons. Add-ons can only be created if you have created a package first and can only be purchased by a client if they purchase a package. You can remove any unwanted items by clicking the delete button. Once you have all of the packages and add-ons you want, click next. In the customer information section, you can create up to 15 text fields to help you collect vital information from your clients during checkout. These fields can be drop-down lists with options separated by commas or text boxes where your client can type in their information. All the fields that you create here must be filled out by the client before they can check out. Once you have the information fields you need, click Next. Here you can preview the pre-order that you just created or grab the short link to share out with your clients. You can also set an expiration date for this pre-order. And when that expiration date has arrived, any client trying to access this link will be redirected to your website instead. Once you have it all set up, click Done. In the next video, I'll show you how to pull your pre-order sales reports and how to request a payout for your profits.